I really, really enjoy making fun of old Sims packs. Some of the original stuff for The Sims 4 is just bad. And I know that I talk about things like luxury party stuff way too much. It's just such an easy target. It is objectively one of the worst things The Sims has ever released. And with the new stuff pack coming out next week, I've been thinking a lot about stuff packs again recently. And I thought it might be fun to go back and re-watch some of the original stuff pack trailers. I would love to know how they tried to sell us luxury party stuff when it first came out. The first stuff pack ever for The Sims 4 came out on May 19th, 2015. This is obviously way before I started making Sims videos. I was still in high school. And at the time, I remember being really excited about this stuff pack. We have to kind of reframe the context of these because obviously things have changed a lot since they first started coming out. But in The Sims 3, stuff packs used to be $20. And then pretty shortly after The Sims 4 first came out, we got a game pack, which was a brand new concept. And that game pack was $20. It came with a new world, it had a bunch of new gameplay, it wasn't just like furniture, which we were kind of used to. And then this stuff pack got announced and it was like smaller scale, smaller items, but it still had some gameplay thing, in this case being the like buffet table. And at the time, a lot of people were actually kind of excited about this concept and thought that it kind of seemed like a good deal in comparison to The Sims 3 stuff, which is just so funny to think about now because luxury party stuff is objectively not a good deal. It is a complete and total waste of money. So I want to start off by taking a little walk down memory lane and re-watching this luxury party stuff trailer. This is interesting. It looks like the trailer came out on the day the stuff pack released. So they kind of just surprise dropped it. It says available now and the trailer came out on the release day. It includes the all new banquet table and fountain centerpiece that offers new gameplay experiences. Well, that's a little bit of a stretch, but okay. <laughs> I'm gonna watch the trailer now. I'm kind of nervous about this. The Sims 4 used to have such a like, Ooh, go to parties and be this like cool partying young adult <laughs> is kind of what they were going for when it first released. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> they painted the walls purple and they replaced everything with glowing stuff. That's so fancy. Honestly, that suit is still good though. I won't lie, it's actually pretty cool. <sighs> this is like, you know, for what they had to work with, it's not a bad trailer. Like they're they're showing off all the things <laughs> and it's kind of well-made and cool. It's just like the things are a glow cube. So like the, there's not a lot of options for them to use. New outfits, <laughs> new objects. Whoa, wait a minute. Sorry, I don't usually pause during these. That buffet table looks 10 times better than it's ever looked when it's actually in game. Why does that seem so much better? I need to like open the game and look at this again. Luxury party just has nothing. It has nothing. And that's it. <laughs> the trailer's just over. I let, okay. Wow. Get this stuff pack now. They really did drop the trailer on the release day. I do remember this stuff pack coming out, but I didn't buy it at first. Well, I was a child, so I, I didn't have any money, obviously. But the stuff pack came out in May, and then I started my YouTube channel in August. And I think I may have convinced my mom to buy it for me in August when I started my YouTube channel. So I didn't buy it straight away. And I remember thinking at the time that it was ugly. Like, I kind of always thought it was bad. It just like the glow cube is so useless. All this furniture is so useless. I do have these vivid memories of wanting to build wedding venues using this stuff. I'm pretty sure I watched Deli build a fancy like outdoor wedding pavilion thing and she had used like these curtains and the fancy chairs and I thought it was so cool. But yeah, um, that's it. <laughs> it's such a nothing pack. They didn't even really show any gameplay. Like we have the buffet table, but there's not really any Sims using it. I guess they did drink from the fountain. It just looks so bad. That's supposed to be chocolate. Oh my God, this part with the glow cubes just like trapping them in is so weird. They're literally trapped there. They made like a fake dance floor because this is before any dance floors existed. <laughs> they made a fake one and just surrounded it with glow cubes. I know, I know, it's bad, right? One of my kittens is sitting at the window, <laughs> so she's yelling. Oh my God, look at this, Vixella, this is right up my alley, <laughs> heart emoji. Oh, Sasha, you're a dirty liar. <laughs> I'm actually gonna make fun of her for that. I'm gonna send her a message right now. I'm going to perfect patio stuff next. I kind of like this pack a little bit more. I remember buying this one and thinking that it was better. It's just, um, <laughs> I don't know. The hot tub was a bigger selling point than the buffet table was. Clearly, they start that with hot tubs are here. <laughs> 
But now we have a hot tub in the base game, so it doesn't even matter. But the hot tubs are cool because you can woohoo in them and stuff, which makes like a, I don't know, it's a more exciting gameplay experience. And I think the furniture from this pack is significantly more usable than anything from the other one. It's just so interesting looking back on these because I feel like they do a better job of showing off the new stuff in the trailers now, but there's also just in general more new stuff in the trailers because this is still funny. Like he got in the hot tub naked, now they're woohooing. <laughs> oh my God. The hot tub woohoo is actually kind of dramatic. I kind of forgot about that. Wow. And there's fountains <laughs> and the hearts and stuff. Okay, that's actually, that kind of sells it. And this came with new swimsuits. And keep in mind when the base game came out, we didn't even have pools. Then we got pools in an update. So we only had like a couple swimsuits in the game. So it was fun to get more. Get this stuff packed now. Oh, they're in weenie suits. Oh, and they got some of the original townies. Put me back. I tried to auto play luxury party stuff. So did this one also come out on the same day? Huh. The perfect patio stuff pack came out on June 16th, 2015. So did they always drop the trailer on the same day? Did they announce it beforehand with like a teaser post or did they just like surprise us with trailers? Why don't I remember that? This one was also pre me having a YouTube channel and they were only a month apart. We got two stuff packs in a month. This is really weird for me. <laughs> I feel really weird right now. Yeah, cool kitchen stuff trailer on the same day it released too. That's so weird. I guess they tried to do that with kits, but they couldn't really succeed at it because people kept finding them in the game files because they would have the update come out on Tuesday and then the kit was supposed to surprise drop on Thursday, but we would dig for it and then find it on Tuesdays. So maybe we just weren't digging around as much in this time. I don't really remember. I wish that I remembered, but it was so long ago and I was young and I didn't like care as much. I wasn't like following it as closely as I am now, obviously. This is cute. Cool Kitchen has some ugly stuff though. So like the trailer isn't really speaking to me. It is fun how the different ice creams make them change. They can be like spicy and stuff, but that's kind of the whole thing. The new gameplay is just eating ice cream. <laughs> oh, and you can drop the ice cream. That's all very dramatic. I kind of like it. Oh no, Alex. And it's old Alexander Goth too, obviously. These aren't bad. Like the trailers aren't bad. It's just that there isn't a lot going on in them. So there isn't much to show. Do you want to see this spooky stuff trailer? This will be your first ever Sims trailer that you actually watch. And you're a little black cat. You might like it. I actually think she does. She's kind of looking. <laughs> Look, that's a pumpkin. No, you don't like it. Okay. You don't have to watch. <laughs> anyway, you can carve pumpkins in this pack. Oh, you know what? This is a more exciting trailer. I like this better. So far, there's like more story involved. It's less just like, ooh, backyard party. <laughs> we actually have more to see and more to show for it all. This is kind of cool. Oh, not all images represent actual gameplay. <laughs> That's just because the stuff doesn't like randomly spawn, obviously. This is kind of cute. You got to admit, this is probably the best trailer we've seen so far. I like that one. And it's fun how it comes with new costumes. This is definitely like a, a fun concept for a pack. If you like Halloween a lot, it's got some cute stuff in it. It's definitely not one of my most used packs, but it's not a bad one. It's fine. The pumpkins are cute. The clothing's cute. It's just got a very specific purpose. And I prefer packs that are more like easy to use for everything that kind of, you know, are stuff stop auto playing the next thing. But I prefer packs that you can sort of fit into your more everyday gameplay and not stuff that has a very, very specific, oh, September 23rd, 2015. Oh, happy birthday. Interestingly enough, this trailer came out on the 23rd and the pack came out on the 29th. So this is the first time they've dropped a stuff pack trailer in advance of the stuff pack. And I am posting this on September 23rd, 2023. I'm bored. <laughs> These trailers are not exciting me in the slightest. Now this one actually did get a lot of criticism at the time, and I'm sure the other ones did too. I just don't remember it as much, but this one, because Seasons hadn't come out yet, everybody was like, okay, but where is Seasons? You're giving us like a holiday thing, but there's no Seasons in the game. And I think that was justified. I was upset too. I wanted Seasons so bad. I know that a lot of you have been playing The Sims 4 in a post Seasons world, but you gotta understand how desperately everybody wanted that pack. That was like the most most requested pack ever at the time. Seasons and pets were like the big things, obviously. And this was offensive <laughs> because it was neither of them, but it was like kind of almost seasons, just it didn't actually have any seasons related gameplay. It was just like a pumpkin. Skipping ahead a little bit, the first pack that I ever got given a code for was the backyard stuff pack. They added me to at the time, what was an email mailing list. And they gave me a code for free to the backyard stuff pack. And that was like the greatest day of my life. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. 
that because I felt it was so cool to be like noticed by The Sims and be given a code for a pack. I had like maybe 20,000 subscribers at the time. And this pack was actually kind of fun. It has the water slides and like some cute backyard patio furniture. I still like it. I still use this. I don't use the water slides very much because like they're huge and where are you supposed to put them? <laughs> but the rest of it's kind of fun. There's some cute clothing and some nice furniture. It's not their best stuff pack. This is like solidly mid tier compared to the other stuff packs. And I think that's, that's fine. Most of them are mid tier. Being mid tier is a good thing because there's some pretty bad ones. So, <laughs> and it's cute. It's nice. I think I'm always going to have a little soft spot in my heart for this pack because they gave it to me for free. <laughs> and it was the first time that ever happened. I don't know. I, I can't be objective about this one. I don't think <laughs> I like it. It's cute. Whoa. It has this weird bird feeder thing where like birds animate and can come see you in the backyard. And it also had that little lemonade tray. Oh my God. This is the first time I've commented on one of these. Picket fences, picket fences, picket fences, picket fences. I was, I was really excited about picket fences. I also liked my own comment. Hmm. <laughs> That's a little embarrassing, Kayla. <laughs> I stand by that though. That's a, I still use that fence. It's still good. Oh my God. I don't even want to show you the comment. I don't want to show you the comment. This is so embarrassing. Oh my God. <laughs> I made fun of Sasha and this is karma. I used to be like really anti-bowling. I was such a weird little dramatic teen. It's like genuinely so, so embarrassing and cringy to think about, okay? But I used to be like genuinely anti-bowling because I went to this bowling birthday party and I had a panic attack and it was embarrassing. Anyway, so I I was like, haha, I hate bowling. Look at this comment. I love mid-century modern things. I'm so ready for this. Edit. I hate bowling IRL. There was a childhood incident. Don't ask. Yet suddenly I have the urge to bowl. Thanks, at EA. <laughs> Stop talking, Kayla. How embarrassing. So embarrassing. Oh my God. Okay, this came out in March of 2017. I was a senior in high school talking like that. Ugh, let's watch this one. <laughs> the bowling stuff pack feels a little like less old to me than those other ones. And it isn't really that much newer. It's only like two years newer. In the grand scheme of things, it's still really old, but it doesn't feel like it's in that original bad era that the others were. It's kind of cute. We got these new like bowling item lanes that I never use. <laughs> it was also weird because the bowling alley wasn't a specific lot type. They just made it so that if you put a bowling alley in a bar, Sims would bowl. So if you wanted to make a bowling alley, it has to be a bar. It's like a fake lot type sort of, which is kind of weird. Obviously all the clothing is very bowling focused. <laughs> so it's all the furniture, but it's got a couple, a couple emphasis on like a very small amount of little mid-century sort of furniture style stuff. And now the trailer is sort of ending in a way that's more familiar to what I'm used to with like the end card, We've got a release date. That's so interesting to watch the evolution of the style. I remember the fitness stuff pack came out and I didn't care about it at all. <laughs> commenting on it again. I don't comment on anything anymore. I was a little skeptical when they first teased this pack, but I love the style of the furniture and the new hair so much. You don't like the furniture. You don't. You don't like the furniture. You like the hairs. There's one hair. You like one hair, that one ponytail, but the furniture you don't like. Why did I lie? What was, what did I have to gain from lying? I didn't like make stuff pack videos back then. I didn't make a reaction video to this trailer. I, I don't even know if I made a, like a review video on this trailer. I remember it came out when I was in the airport flying home from seeing my grandparents. And so I definitely didn't make a video on it. <laughs> but this, I don't like this furniture. I've never liked this furniture. The, I don't even use the gym equipment. I used the rock climbing wall a couple times, but I don't use like any of the rest of the stuff at all. There's one wall painting that I kind of like, but that's it. I guess the wallpapers are okay too. Yeah, I don't like this pack. <laughs> this is a nothing pack. This is like a forgettable, I don't really care about it even remotely. It's just not, it's not my favorite. It's actually one of my least favorite, I would say. Toddler stuff I was excited about. That was the next one. I think I might actually cry. This is so adorable. <laughs> okay. Well, still an embarrassing comment, but not as bad as like weird bowling stories. This was a big deal when it first came out because we had like no toddler stuff. Obviously toddlers came out in a base game update and then we had a handful of toddler things, but we didn't have that many toddler clothing items. We didn't have a lot of toys for them. Look at the ball pit. Stop. Sorry, I have to pause. Oh my God, the ball pit. This was drama when it first came out. They had to go back and change it because everybody was like, what is wrong with you? 
why does it look like that? Do you see how it's like completely flat and there's like a handful of balls where the kids are standing? It was like a very low quality picture of a ball pit. Just picture a big, giant, completely flat picture of a ball pit. And if they stood in there, there'd be a couple balls. And because there was so much backlash, they had to go back and like update the texture. And it's still not great. I think it's just hard. You just, it's hard to achieve, but it's a lot better than it just being a picture of a ball pit. Cause I'm not kidding. You can see it was a picture of a ball pit when it first release. Oh my god, that toddler slide's still iconic. I use it every time. And this pack also has those really nice like fairy string lights. Fairy lights? Sorry, we shouldn't talk about fairies. This sore subject. <laughs> fairies are like the most requested thing right now on The Sims 4. I never use the big toddler playground thing. I gotta be honest. It only has three swatches and it's kind of hard to use, I feel like, because it's so big. But the ball pit and the slide I use more often. And I, I use the toddler clothing all the time because we don't really have a lot of other options. Look at it! Look at the weird flat ball pit! Look at how it like waves. Do you see that? That's how they've made it move. <laughs> flat texture just lifts up like it's a blanket or something. Oh god, I kind of forgot about that. That's so funny looking back on. Yeah, it's not a bad pack. It's fine. The trailer's cute too. It just, it, it really suffered from the ball pit at the time. <laughs> it was hard to uh, to focus on anything else. Oh, we've got our first Vixella comment in a while. She likes laundry day. <laughs> I didn't comment on this one. I'm actually more curious to watch the mosquito stuff pack trailer. What the heck is that? <gasps> what is going on? No, you're kidding. You're actually kidding. What is that? Oh, I didn't remember. Is that Joey Graceffa? No, 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 you're kidding. You're actually kidding. Oh my god, they had like a real life influencer party and they put them in like the clothes and then, oh my god, oh my god. I'm. <laughs> This pack was always bad, but that was way worse than I was expecting. Okay, um, I have some stories about mosquito stuff, let me tell you. And it's actually, it kind of holds up better than I thought it would because it, it has like the photography stuff in it. But this was the first collab pack they did for The Sims 4. And oh my God, was the reception to this terrible. Love it when the team gives us things that we don't ask for instead of what the game needs. <laughs> How do we make people stop hating on My First Pet stuff constantly? Mosquito stuff, perfect. Oh my God, My First pet stuff is not in this playlist. One unavailable video is hidden. Oh, we are going back to that. We are going back to that. Okay, let me tell you about this pack though. So when they first announced mosquito stuff, which I call it that on purpose, by the way, as an insult, it's a collab with a luxury fashion brand, which is really strange because the target Sims audience, like the majority of the Sims players, obviously not all of them, but like a lot of the folks who play the Sims are younger teenagers. Teenagers don't buy luxury fashion brands. This is just not, it's not a match. If you're gonna do a clothing collab, I feel like you should try to align it better with like the general audience of your game. Sort of like how The Sims 2 had the H&M stuff pack and the Ikea stuff pack. H&M and Ikea are attainable regular brands that like the average Sims player probably has. I mean, Ikea shelves behind me. I have never bought a luxury fashion item in my life. So it was just a miss in that sense. But let me tell you, when they first announced this, this is back like pre-COVID when they still did IRL in-person events. And they used to have this EA convention alongside E3 called EA Play. And it was like a free thing that anyone could get tickets to and you could go there. It was gonna be in LA and you could play some of the games early. This coincided with both the seasons and the Island Living releases for The Sims 4. So I was there. They like flew out some Sims creators to go to EA Play and like test out the pack early. And this one was super weird because they announced Island Living there that day. They flew us out to play this pack and didn't tell us what the pack was until we got got there, which I think was kind of dumb, to be honest. Cause like, don't you want us to prepare to make content on it? Like, don't you want us to have ideas in advance? Anyway, whatever. So I need you to picture this, okay? They've got like a stage set up outside at this like small little EA Play convention. Some of the Sims developers are there, like Sim Guru Lindsay is there and they come on the stage and they're like, we're gonna play the trailer and they announce Island Living. Huge deal. There's mermaids, there's dolphins, there's open water. Like Island Living was a big announcement, right? There's like an audience watching this of a lot of Simmers like me and other YouTubers, but also like people, like general people that could come to the event. We start out with the expansion pack, huge deal announcement. Then they're like, oh, but we're not done. We've got a couple other teasers for you. And they tease Realm of Magic. They don't actually announce it, but they're like, ooh, we're gonna add magic. And again, there's a physical audience here watching this. So the crowd goes wild, like screaming, cheering for both Island Living and Alfred the Magic Pack. And then they're like, but we're still not done. We've got one other announcement. And they put on the screen, like the mosquito stuff logo and they're like get ready for mosquito stuff and just dead silent 
crickets. The silence in comparison to the other two announcements was, it's all, I still have secondhand embarrassment thinking about it. I don't know if you could tell as bad when you watch the video and the live stream, but when you were there, obviously like I could hear all these people, oh my God. And like all of my friends, all the Sims YouTubers were like, what, what is it? What is, what's going on? <laughs> so this is not their finest moment, okay? And that trailer was so weird. Why do they have like a party going on? What is that? Why did they do that? Oh my God. Is the My First Pet Stuff trailer not on YouTube? Obviously we have like the PlayStation one, but is that the video that the Sims team deleted off their channel? I don't see it. I think we have to watch the, the PlayStation trailer. Oh my God, that's drama if so. This pack obviously had a very negative reaction when it first came out. Do you own the Sims 4 cats and dogs? Get ready for more that you have to pay extra for with the Sims 4 My First Pet Stuff. Oh, so cringe. This makes me uncomfortable just watching it, just knowing how mad we all were when it first came out. So this pack, it has like a couple new things. It ha I'm sorry about the cats running around, by the way. I don't know if you can tell, but they're busy. <laughs> they heard there was a, a cats and dogs pack and they got excited. But this pack, you have to own cats and dogs to get all of the content. So it has like the little tiny rodents and a couple of extra things, but a lot of it is like cat furniture or or cat clothing. So it only works if you have cats and dogs. And like the cat tree, for example, if you buy this pack and you don't have cats and dogs, you still have the cat tree. It just is like a thing. You can't do anything with it. So everybody was really, really mad about this when it first came out because it was like, why are you making us pay extra for this DLC that we already bought? Like, why isn't this in cats and dogs? Normally, I think that that criticism is a little bit unfair for most other things. Like for example, I saw people saying recently that the backpack update that just came out, the free base game backpack update should have been in high school years. And I just think that's dumb. You know, like that doesn't make any sense. They're somewhat related, but it's a base game thing. Like it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. They can do stuff that is of a similar vibe in different packs sometimes. But this, this was insulting because we got cats and dogs. And then a few months later they were like, oh, here's more stuff. And it really seemed like this stuff was gonna be in cats and dogs. And then they just packed it up and didn't give it to us until later. And then made us pay extra for it. Also, this trailer is bad. I don't know why they didn't show off the new death because objectively the best part of this pack is the fact that you can die from a rat and they didn't even show it. And I'm not exaggerating. That is the only reason I like that pack. I, the rest of it makes me feel angry, but that part, the death is the only good part. I wish that we could see the original trailer. Why isn't it on the Sims channel? The last thing I wanna do is actually watch the paranormal stuff pack trailer because that is the most recent one, aside from obviously the Home Chef Hustle one, but we've all seen that more recently. I'm curious to see this trailer in comparison to the original ones, like first versus last, because already this is like way more cinematic. Like you can just tell this is way, oh, come on. Come on, this is way cooler. And there's just so much more furniture. They have so much more to show off. And like the, the text that they're doing, this is so much better. The team has really, really stepped it up. The trailers recently have been so good. The past, like honestly, three or four years, they've been really amazing. But this this trailer is by far the best stuff pack trailer. I think this is better than the newest one too, the Home Chef Hustle one. But they also have more to work with. Like they have some kind of chaotic ghosty things they can do. <laughs> there's only so much you can do with pizza, right? But this with ghosts, you can do a lot. Oh my goodness, you timed it perfectly again. Why do you keep coming for the scary stuff? This is the paranormal pack and you're a little black cat. Do you like it? No, you don't want to be held. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought you might want to see. There really is a lot that you can do in this stuff pack though. Like compared to the original ones, first of all, it has like twice as much furniture, twice as much clothing. It's more usable furniture and clothing, but it also has a new lot type. You can build a haunted house and you can also do an active career, like the active ghost hunter career. The other stuff packs have no career. This this basically honestly is like, I don't want to say it could have been a game pack because like <laughs> it couldn't have, that's insulting. But like when you compare this to the size of luxury party, this is like triple the amount of stuff. They also did an official live stream for it, which they didn't do for any of those other stuff packs because what are you gonna do for an official live stream on luxury party? <laughs> They actually had stuff to show us in this one. Well, you know what? That was actually really interesting for me to go back and look through. I obviously didn't watch all the trailers because there's too many, but it's kind of fun to go back and compare the original stuff to now, and especially to go back and look at the controversial ones. I'm so curious if any of you were around and remember more of the community reaction to luxury party stuff and like some of those earliest stuff packs, could you talk about it in the comments? Because I remember some, but I was like a child and a little bit blinded by my obsession with The Sims to be 
critical. Because I remember some of it, but I was like a child and a little bit too blinded by my obsession with The Sims to be critical of it. I don't trust my opinion at 15. So I'm really curious to hear what you all think if you were around and like old enough to form a real opinion. <laughs> Not that teenagers can't have opinions, I just don't- this teenager can't have opinions. <laughs> but I think on that note, I'm gonna end this video right here. If you want to watch my trailer reaction to the most recent trailer, I'm gonna link that down below. That new stuff pack comes out this week, so we've got a lot of stuff pack content to be talking about soon. And let me know if I should go back and react to some of the other pack trailers. Like, should we talk about game pack and expansion pack trailers? Cause same thing, I honestly have not got a clue what goes on in the get to work trailer. So I'd be curious to go back and look at it, but only if you actually liked this video. If you didn't, then I won't bother. And with that, I will catch you all later. Okay, bye everybody. Hopefully the cats weren't too much of a distraction today. I don't usually allow them in here when I'm recording, but they were being calm in the beginning and then they became not calm and now they've kind of calmed down again. So that's, that's kittens. <laughs>